Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Readings with Rally. I am very, very excited to get into this today. Um, today's video is on who is going to ask you out next. So there will be an extended portion to this video. All of those timestamps will be down below. All of the information needed to book a personal reading with me is also down below. Today we have three piles to choose from. Number one, we have number two and number three. So if you need some more time, please pause the video here. Again, we have one, two, and three. Um, and if not, we're just gonna go ahead here and get started with pile number one. Let me take a sip of my coffee here. All right, hello, pile number ones. If you chose this citrine here, then this is your reading. We're gonna take a look at who is going to ask you out next. Okay, so spirit guides, angels, ancestors, anyone connecting to my pile ones, can you please come forward and help me deliver these messages of truth, of love, of healing to them so that they can make the best choices that they need for themselves. Okay, so. Who is going to ask pile one out next? Okay, we have four of pentacles. So for many of you, you may not know this person. For those of you who know this person, this person has kind of been holding back from you a little bit. I am getting the feeling of an observer. So someone here who is watching you, this person has got their eyes on you. That is for sure. This person could have earth in their chart. Um, for some of you, this could have been a person that, you know, you maybe went out with in the past. And now you're not, you're not interested in this person anymore. What else, please? Who's going to ask pile one out? <laughs> yep, five of pentacles. Um, strong energy, earth energy here with this person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could have been someone you guys actually ended up having a relationship with. This relationship came to some sort of an end or someone got left out here in the cold. Someone walked away from this connection. So for many of you, this could be a person coming back from the past. Womp womp. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. If this doesn't resonate, you can pick another pile, but let's see what else we can get here. There is a progression here. Like this person wants to go from the four to the five, right? So in that way, they are trying to move. They're trying to create positive movement here. Thank you. Wow. Four of wands. Okay. We have two fours here. Four, four could be significant. Um, something could have happened in the month of January, February, March, April, sorry, you or this person could be born in April, or this could indicate four weeks, four days, or four months, but I am feeling it's actually going to be quite faster than that. Um, for many of you, you could have considered this person as sort of your true match. This is someone who you have a soul connection with. I'm hearing childish, so I feel like this person acted in a childish way towards you. They weren't really ready for the level of commitment that you were ready that you were wanting um in this connection and so I feel like you pulled the plug or this person walked away there is some sort of an ending here where someone really felt like they were left out in the cold with the page of swords this person um there are there did they, they do have a very quick mind I am hearing quick mind so I feel like this is a very inquisitive person this is a smart person the page of swords here is also my spy card so this person you guys is watching your social media they are trying to gather the facts on you this is someone who's very interested in you like they they just want to know everything about you about where what it is you're doing who are you with like this is a very much a little bit of a spy energy this person is trying to look for an angle to come back in they want to look for an angle about how it is that they can approach you or come back into your life for those of you who might not know this person this person is watching you they could be on your social media already um they could already be sort of keeping an eye on you Two of Swords. So some of you have been waiting to hear from this person because the Two of Swords there is coming up in reverse. Um, for those of you who have been waiting to hear from a specific person, this is just spirit really outlining that this person is in fact coming in here. So please just um, stay stay steady, stay strong because they are about to to make a entrance back into your life. I feel for some of you, this person might owe you an apology or owe you an explanation, and there's no way you're going to even go out with them. 
until they kind of elaborate on what it is that they're doing. Temperance, beautiful. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart as well or have a minor planet um, in an air sign. Aquari Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. What this person really wants to come to do is they want to come back in and they do want to heal this connection. I do feel like both of you have done a lot of growing um, in the time that you've been apart. This person is really looking to create more of a balance with you. They're really struggling with the fact that this connection, I feel for many of you, it ended abruptly. Or if this is someone who you don't know, my loves, if, if like, let's say you've never been in a connection before, what this person is going to want to do is this is a person who you, I feel like you know them, even if you've not been romantically involved with them. Um, and they kind of want to come forward and tell you, look, look at all the ways I've healed. Look at all, look at how different I am now. So there is that sort of energy with this person. But I do feel for many of you that this person does owe you some sort of an apology here. That's coming through as well. Okay, let's let's get our next deck out. Let's try to figure out some more about this person for my loves here. Okay, who's going to ask pile one out next, please, spirit? Thank you. Angels of the four directions. So you guys, this person has been really talking to spirit about you. They've been asking for help. They've been asking for clarity. This is someone who might have even been praying for you. Spirit did also intervene, I'm hearing, for some of you in this connection because you guys were headed down some sort of a slippery road. Like there was just a sense of um, a real lack of imbalance here. Yeah, conflict. Spirit kind of intervened here. I do feel like Spirit put a stop to this because there was some kind of a road that you guys were taking that wasn't healthy for either of you. And so Spirit was just kind of like, nope, and they pulled this connection apart. For some of you, this person could have traveled away from you. I'm hearing I want to move into clearer waters. So this person's intention towards you is to move this connection into clearer waters. But for many of you, I really do feel like spirit, spirit kind of came in and was like, nope, you know, and they pulled, pulled this energy away. We have the healing light. Yeah. So this person, like that's very similar um, to the temperance card. This person, you guys has done a lot of healing and I feel like you have done a lot of healing. I want you to be very careful though, because I don't want this person to create more imbalance in your life. They are trying to come off here as someone who has done their work, and perhaps this is true, but I'm not really interested in them. I'm interested in you guys, okay? So I want to make sure that you guys are really able to um, keep your balance regardless of this person, because I feel like whatever happened in this connection, the ending, it was difficult. And I feel like it, it was hard for you guys to regain your balance. For those of you which this is a new connection, this person, there is just a message here to maintain your balance regardless of this person. So to remember that you are a whole and complete individual on your own with or without this person. And it's very important that you just stay steady um, in, in yourself. Stay steady in knowing who you are because you guys have a very gentle healing light. And I feel like that might attract some lower vibrational people, energy vampires or something like this taking steps. Yeah, this person wants to take steps to heal this connection. This person um, is also taking steps towards asking you out. I feel like this is a process for this person. This person could be a little bit, um, they might have like a very quick mind or have like a lot of mental confusion. Deserving. Spirit is just reminding you here that you are deserving of this connection. You're deserving of having everything it is that you want. And if this person's not going to treat you well, then they can just piss off. I'm hearing piss off. So someone here might be British. I feel like you guys have really done a lot of work, work on your self-worth and I will be damned if I let this person come in without giving you a warning and like throwing you off balance. I kind of feel like you're a little bit in a better position in terms of your um, healing than this person. With the honoring path, a lot of you might be turning to spirituality. A lot of you might actually be like, I'm hearing divine feminine. So some of you guys could actually be doing like intense divine feminine healing energy right now or be, be involved in some sort of a spiritual practice, which has really helped you understand yourself. I am hearing challenge. So I do feel that this connection is going to be a little bit of a challenge for some of you. That's not to say it's not going to be worth it in the end. 
this person as well has done their growth. I should cut them some slack because I am really feeling like they have done their growth. Like they are trying to take steps to um, really fix themselves, really, you know, address their own inner demons. My biggest problem here is that you guys have done this so much quicker. So there is a sense here of you guys being a little bit on different levels here. All right. All right. Let's see. I'm going to work with this deck. Okay. Spirit, angels, ancestors. Who's going to ask my pile ones out next, please? Thank you. Appreciation. Wow. Okay. 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 I like it. I like it. This person seeing you um, for who it is that you're worth. We have another four. Did I already say four for fours? You, you guys might be seeing um, repeating number patterns, particularly four, four, four. Thank you. We'll start here. Man holding a coin. I would be really surprised if this person doesn't have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I feel like this person has come to sort of a new appreciation of who it is that you are. And they want to come in and really offer you that. Um, they kind of want to like shower you with compliments, shower you with gifts. It's like you guys really are in your power here. Let me look at this card here. Like, look at her. She's just like bomb. Look at her outfit. She's holding a flower. Like, I feel like this is you guys. You guys are really doing some major shifting and evolving. And this could even be in areas like your career or even your appearance. This person, you guys, they feel like you are a part of their family. And so they do want to come in and sort of um, reestablish that bond. For those of you who don't know this person, this person and you could actually end up having a family together if it is that you want. I know this is appreciation and man holding the coin, but there are a lot of mirror images here. Like these people are both with these flowers in the back. So, you know, for many of you, this could be a divine counterpart. Um, I do feel like this person has has money. Like I feel like they, they, they or they want to come in and like offer you some sort of a gift. Take you on a very elaborate date, I'm hearing. Patience. So some of you guys have been incredibly patient with this person. You've been kind. You've waited for this person to get their act together, I'm hearing. This patience card does remind me of the temperance card. So again, indicative here of that really intense inner healing that you guys did. It's also, I believe this is an angel. So like I said, spirit was really um, important in intervening in this connection. Some of you have also been single for a very long time. And so I feel like, the, you know, you're kind of ready for things to move. Who else? Tell me what else, please, spirit. Financial constraints. So maybe this person... Um, especially if you know them, they were struggling with money in the past and now they have a little bit more money. So they're coming back because they feel like they could have something now that they can offer you. I also do feel like, you know, you guys have been focused on building your own empire, you building your own wealth. There's really like, a, I'm getting nine of pentacles energy here. So I feel like you guys are kind of like single boss babes contract. So this could actually end up being a marriage. You guys could have some sort of a spiritual contract or bond together as well. We have 13 and then we have 15 and 16. So again, there is a progression here. This person does want to build. I'm hearing for some of you, this person could actually have been contracted to move away for work or something like maybe military or some sort of an overseas contract and now they're coming back. I don't not like this person. Don't get me wrong. I just... There's a lot of mirror energy here for me personally in this spread. So maybe it's trying to show that this person has really done their work and grown like they've really put, you know, the hours in to become more of your equal. And I feel like for many of you, this person sees your value in a new way that they were never quite able to see it before. I think this person is going to want to impress you somehow with money um, on the date. Like it's like they're going to want to offer you some sort of, of money here or some kind of a gift or take you somewhere fancy. Having your cake and eating it. So for many of you, this person, especially if this is someone from your past, they never really saw your value. They were just kind of selfish and out for themselves. It's not love. So, you know, you guys could have really pulled away from this connection because you were feeling like this person just had an immature energy. They weren't able to sort of give to you what it is that you needed or what it is that you deserved. Spirit, that is too many. Tired of pulling teeth. So for many of you, you did have to pull teeth with this person. 
I feel like this person was very guarded. They weren't very open about their emotions. And I feel like this person has done some growing, at least in that regard. They might be wanting to come back here and really um, share with you why it is that they were acting the way that they did always needing to apologize. So I feel like for many of you, I'm hearing different love languages. I think that the two of you just approach love in a different way. And this person is really wanting to come back and see, see, um, see things from your perspective. This person did F up in the past. Surprise pregnancy. We did have that family card come out. So some of you might have been pregnant by this person, or um, this is just a warning to be very careful, especially in terms of using contraceptives with this person. I just feel like the two of you, especially if you did know this person, you weren't necessarily on the same page then, but I am hearing, you know, that right now you could be in a stage where you're a lot more equally balanced. Social media drama, you could have found something out about this person on social media here. Let's see if there's anything else I'm getting. Like this person just might not be as emotionally open as you. And I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. Everyone has their own different ways of, you know, dealing with processing emotions or sharing emotions. That's not to say that, you know, you need to let this person back into your life. But I do feel like this person does want some longevity here in this connection. And I think that they have done some growing. I just think that you guys have done your evolution and you're growing a lot quicker than this person. Which again, isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just a thing. Okay, let's get some channeled messages here. Tell me about the person who's going to ask pile one out next, please. Can we get some signs from them? Tell me about the person who's going to ask pile one out next, please. Thank you, spirit. Okay, let's see what we have here. You wouldn't consider me book smart, but don't worry, I'm highly street smart. So this person is a smart person. Like I do feel like they, they, um, they're very good at observing. This person likes to observe. They like to see what's going on. They like to assess the situation out. They are incredibly intelligent when it comes to people. That might be, I'm hearing some of you feel like, you know, you're under a magnifying glass with this person. Something in this connection is missing for me. So you guys could have pulled your energy away because this person was just unable to meet it. Like I said, I'm hearing different love languages again. I'm learning something new right now. There's a lot of pressure. Please give me space. So someone could have pulled energy away from this connection to focus on their career. I do feel like both of you had, have had a lot of career transformations in the last year or so, I want to live with you. So this person's really wanting to establish some sort of a secure bond. I feel really insecure in this connection, so I exhibit anxious behavior. One person here could be an anxious um, attachment style. The other person could be an avoidant attachment style. You guys might want to read the book Attached. It's very, very interesting. I've changed my mind on this connection. Okay, so someone has been spending a lot of time thinking in their head about this. One to three months. I was picking up four, four weeks. Um, I don't think it's going to go as far as four months. So, you know, a lot of you guys could be hearing from this person within the next month. I work so hard so I can create a beautiful life for you. Yeah, this person, you guys, they're very materially focused. That's not a bad thing. That's just kind of the way that they show love. Like they could have that love language of wanting to give gifts. You've blocked me on social media. So for many of you, you have blocked this person on social media. Oh my gosh, we have, I want to live with you. Okay, I didn't even realize I had two of these, but I guess I do. So mirror mirror energy, my loves. You guys do mirror this person in a lot of ways, okay? I love to take risks in life. So this person could be a little bit of a risk taker. So that is what I have for you, my loves. I hope that that resonated. I'm really sorry that it's something from your past. I know a lot of you guys don't like that, but please don't shoot the messenger. You're um, welcome to pick another pile. If you know who this person is and you're like, you know what, even if this person does come back, I am not going to take them back. I feel like that's completely okay. So I'm just taking a sip of some water here. But yeah, that is really what I, I am getting, unfortunately. I do feel like this person has learned their lessons though. Okay, I'm clearing the energy off. 
Hello, my beautiful pile twos. If you chose this little brown stone here, then this is your um, reading on who is going to be asking you out next. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, tapping into the collective that chose pile number two, please. Please come forth and help me deliver these messages of truth and clarity for them so that they can make the best decisions for themselves. Who's gonna ask pile two out next, please, spirit? Who's gonna ask pile two out next? Who's gonna ask pile two out next? The moon, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, too many, one at a time loves. Spirit, thank you. <laughs> Six of Cups, okay. Strong water energy off the bat, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. For many of you, you could, well, some of you could know this person, but a lot of you will feel like you actually know this person because you guys do have a past life connection. Someone here could be an artist. I'm also hearing um, a master of illusions or someone here could really like be very much in their head. I'm just getting the, the feeling here of someone here who um, fantasizes a lot, creates a lot of fantasies in their head. This person could also be a gamer. What else, please? Page of Cups. Okay. Very heavy water with this person. You could be a little bit younger than this person or this person, regardless of age, could have an energy that feels a little bit younger than yours. There's a lot of emotions here. This person feels very strongly emotionally attached to you. They have a crush, essentially, is what I'm hearing. Um, and for some of you, you could know this person. This person could be from your past or from your childhood. And for others of you, I just feel like you will feel like you know this person because the energy will be so intense between the two of you. There's a big feeling here of love, a big feeling here of um, just feeling like you, you know this person. I don't know. It's just like a feeling you have in your body here. The Hermit. So for signs here, we have Cancer Pisces. The Hermit indicates Virgo. This person likes to spend a lot of time alone. They're a big thinker. This is actually a very smart person. This person might have an interest in psychology, sociology, criminology. They might even have an interest in spirituality or the occult. This is a very intuitive person too. I don't know if they would come across like that. I am getting someone who's very rigid in the way that they like to present themselves. But in their hearts of hearts, this person is very, very intuitive. I'm hearing militant. So I feel like for some of you, this person could like to come across as militant like they have their life together, but really look at all these emotion cards. Still waters run deep is what I'm hearing. Um, I feel like some of you could go on this date near water. I'm hearing water or the beach. I feel like this person has an affinity for water. With the five of <laughs> wands here, this person, you guys, they could be feeling like you have a lot of um, people interested in you. They could be worried about shooting their shot with you. There is a very, you guys have a very sweet enveloping energy. And I feel like this person wonders if you're already seeing other people or if you're interested in others. This person um, spends a lot of time in their head really worried about asking you out. I am feeling that there is a high sense here of um, confusion and of fear. King of Cups. Holy shit. Yeah, this person is definitely water. In fact, you could have water in your chart as well because we do have a lot of Cups cards here. Um, a lot of Cups cards. There could be an age difference here. Your person could be older. Someone here is just on a different level as well emotionally. I do feel like you guys have quite a bit of similarities though. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but I feel like you know, as emotional as you are, this person is the same. You guys might even share similar interests. This person feels like there's a lot of people who are interested in you, though. So this makes them a little nervous. This person can have a little bit of a shy energy or I'm picking up a nervous energy. Um, a fast talker, like someone who who's just very animated and nervous. But that is just to hide that it, in their hearts, they, they really, um, they're, they're really crushing on you. I am hearing you guys that this person could have a particular piece of jewelry that they like to wear. I'm hearing a bracelet, a ring, and I'm also getting a necklace for some of you. This person might have tattoos as well. Okay. 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 I like this energy. Let's see what else we can get. My loves. Let's see what else we can get. All righty. Spirit, who's going to ask pile two out next, please? Who's going to ask pile two out next? Milestone. 
okay? This person could have recently um, had some sort of a big shift in their career in a positive way. I feel like this person has reached a new level of success. For some of you, this person could have just gotten some sort of a degree. This person is doing quite well, you know, and I feel like that's kind of what's giving them the confidence to come towards you. We have travel here as well. So for some of you, this person could live from a different place. Um, there could be a sense here of cultural difference. For some others of you, this person could be coming back from overseas. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Or it's like they can finally travel towards you. I know right now the world is like kind of opening up. But I feel more of a sense of cultural difference. I do think that this person has roots elsewhere than where you guys are living. Like it's like there's something different about them. Happy success. Okay, so yeah, the, like this man here is a little bit darker. So I feel like the two of you could come from different cultures. I don't know why I, I keep picking that up. This person is feeling good, okay? They're feeling good because they got their money in order. This makes them feel like they can come towards you. This is a successful person. They like to dress well. Um, I am getting Virgo energy here now. It's like this person really likes to come across and appear appear very um, successful. Like they, it's kind of like a keeping up with the Joneses. They have the nice car, they have the nice clothes. This is a person who does value appearances. Teacher. So for some of you, this person could actually be a teacher to you. You you know, I mean, hey, I'm hearing that song by Sting, Don't Stand So Close to Me. <laughs> um, but I do feel for many of you, maybe this person is older. They they like to take that mentorship role. Um, they, I feel like this connection could actually teach you a lot as well. Like there is a sense of that. I'm looking again at this guy's like, dress right it's he's very sharply dressed so i do feel like you'll know this person because they have you know they dress really well they smell good like this person looks good you guys they look good we have increase so for many of you it's like this person once they decide that they like you that's it like they really lay it on thick they like to talk to you they're, they're gonna like to reach out to you like this person is just gonna want to increase communication here and for some of you, this person only feels like they can ask you out now because they did have an increase in terms of wealth. Professional assistance. So for some of you, this person could work in some sort of a higher institution. Yes, they could be a teacher, but I'm also getting law here. This is a smart person. I do feel like this person has some sort of a degree or even a higher level degree. This person is book smart. They do like to read. They like to spend time by themselves. This person is not going to F around with you unless they consider you an equal, right? Like, look, we have partnerships depicted in both of these cards. So it's like this person is very picky, you guys, about who, who they spend their energy with, who they spend their time with. And I feel like on some level, they feel like you really hit a lot of what they're looking for. Otherwise, I feel like this person is happy to be alone. They're someone who likes to spend time by themselves. It's like they don't need the constant. They don't need to be constantly interested in someone else, you know? Like, that's just not their vibe. Okay, who's asking pile two out next, Spirit? Who's asking pile two out next? Thank you. Adjacent possibilities. This person, I feel like they've gone through a lot of ups and downs in their life. This is a person who I feel almost has like lived many lives in their in their one life, you know? Like they've done a lot of different things. I like this person's energy. I do feel they're quite spiritually evolved as well. Blossoming abundance. This person has money, okay? Like, I mean, we talked about that already, but they really do. They have money. Um, and they're looking for someone to share it with. This person doesn't let just anyone into their circle, but I do feel like this is a person who might have a lot of acquaintances, but very few friends. Like they're very careful about who they let within their energy field. Woman holding a heart. They see you as a high value person. They see you as someone they want in their life. There is a very big attraction to you um, because they see your beautiful big heart. And again, you have, you have a very sensitive um, giving energy that this person, they're very, bang I'm hearing magnetized to you happy family in reverse. So this person could have had a tumultuous upbringing, a lot of problems with their family, a lot of deaths I'm hearing. For some of you, this person, I'm hearing refugee, so they could even be a refugee. 
or have like some sort of um, traumatic roots, some, some sort of traumatic events in their family. Indecision. So a lot of people are confused by this person and the decisions that they make. I'm hearing this person say that they don't have to explain who they are to anyone, which I, I agree with. This person has had to make a lot of really quick decisions too, um, which is why I think that when it comes to picking a partner, they're, they're happy to just take their decision making slow. Okay. Because they really, they want to make the right decision and they don't just want to let anyone into their life. You, you guys know something. I feel like this is a person with a lot of value. Okay. So this is not someone who's just going to let anyone into their life. We have walking away. This person, you guys, has walked away from a lot of different situations. Um, they they are willing to leave a lot behind. This is a very brave person. I feel a, a sense of courage with this person. We have man holding a heart on the bottom. So again, this is a true match. I like this person. I I, I do. I'm just going to be honest with you guys because I do like them. Okay, let me get this. Nothing but the tea deck. Okay, tell me about Pile 2's person, please, Spirit. Tell me about Pile 2's person. You've saying goodbye. Popularity in the way. Their ex, cock blocking. So for many of you, this person has left their, their ex. They're, they're leaving, you know, a partner behind. This person could still have some sort of hold on them. I feel like that your person is popular, but they don't care about it, you know? Like, they really don't. This is a person who's just like... Meh. I don't care how people perceive me because this person has an innate sense of inner worth. They could still have attachments to some sort of an ex or this person could have attachments to, to them. We have love at first sight. So this person, when they see you, they're really going to be very, um, very, very interested in you. There's going to be almost an immediate urge to get to talk to you, to know you. You, you capture this person's attention, my loves. You really do. Mutual sexual attraction. So that's, that's good to hear. You know, this person will be very sexually attracted to you. Um, I feel like this person um, is quite a talented lover. I don't know why that's coming through, <laughs> but it is. I mean, how much do you want me? So like I said, I do feel like there's going to be a very intense, um, passionate sexual bond here. So yeah, I mean, I'm for that, you know? I think that that's kind of fun. This person could like to be dominant in bed. I don't know, I don't know why that's coming across. We are going to look more into that um, in the extended, but I'm just getting a very um, intense, like this person wants to like merge souls or something. Very, very intense energy here. I like it. I like this person. Okay, spirit angels, ancestors, please get me some channeled messages here from Pile 2's person, please. What is going on with their person? The person who's going to ask them out next. Can we get some some stuff from them, please, so that we can, you know, maybe identify who who they are? Thank you. Bossy. <laughs> this person could be a little bit bossy or you could be a bit bossy and this person likes that. I feel like this person likes that. Careful not to get hurt. So I'm hearing many of you say um, this sense looks too good to be true. I feel like this is a very complex person, my love. So just be patient with yourself and this connection. Sexy. Oh, I, I dropped that. I actually got a little bit flustered. So I think some of you will be flustered by how attractive this person is. I'm a brand new person in your life. Woohoo! We love to see it. Woohoo! So this is a new person coming in for many of you, not a person from your past. There are some underlying mental issues I'm working through right now. So this person could have some emotional pain that they're working through right now. I do feel, like I said, a big sense of familial trauma here with this person. So they could be really processing a lot of stuff from their family. They will call you first. Yeah, this is a very old fashioned person. This is a person who's gonna ask you for your number first. They're going to um, take you out on a date first, like this kind of energy, expect a miracle. So for some of you who are saying like, this can never happen to me, Spirit's just really asking you to please expect a miracle here. I always ask around about you. So this person will be very curious about you. They're gonna be asking their friends about you, your friends, like this is someone who's, who's trying to um, Find out all that they can about you, really. I'm trying to find my spiritual center right now, and it's very overwhelming. I need space. So this person might need a little bit of space from you. Not from you, sorry. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just in that hermit mode. Or maybe they will need some space from you. I don't really know. But um, they're in a hermit mode right now because they're trying to put together spiritual pieces of their life. They're trying to sort of really evolve. 
So pile two, that's what I have for you. There is an extended here. The timestamps for that will be down below. We're gonna look at some 18 plus things down there. So very excited about that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me take a sip here. Have some water. I like this person. This is a good energy, a very evolved energy. I like it. Hello, Pile 3. If you chose this rose quartz, then this is your reading on who is going to ask you out next. Let me just clear the energy off here. All righty. Okay, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors tapping into the collective that chose uh, pile number three here. Who's going to ask them out next? Okay, we have the sun. Beautiful. Nine of cups. I feel like my deck, yes, my deck is reversed. Okay. Um, right off the bat, my loves, this person could have strong sun energy in their chart. So Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, particularly Leo is coming through here. Secondly, this person is a wish fulfillment for you guys. So congratulations. I feel like this person has an incredible energy. They are incredibly magnetic. I want you to think about what are the factors you are looking for in a partner? What have you been wishing for? Because those are the things that this person will have. Eight of wands. Okay, I would be shocked if this person didn't have very, very heavy fire in their chart, Leo, Aries, or Sag. This is a very sexy person. This is a very direct person as well. This person likes to move fast. They're fun, they're charming, they're charismatic. A lot of people have eyes on this person. This person might um, ask you out via text. They could be sending you a lot of messages back and forth. There is a sense of quickness with this person, even the way I'm, I'm talking um, is a little bit faster. So this person is a fast thinker. They're a fast communicator. They're very smart and I feel like this person is very sexy. King of Wands, okay, yeah. I mean, we have our fire sign male right there, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. One thing that can come up with this energy is a little bit of an ego, my loves. I do feel like this person knows that they're attractive. They kind of know that they're the shit. Um, this is a very, very, very attractive person, and they kind of know it. Like they, they, I feel like this person has their life sort of together, like not just in terms of um, the way that they look, which I feel like they look really good, but also their career. Like this is someone who is confident but i'm almost feeling like a sense of like deserved confidence you know so they're not like confident without having the the backup seven of cups in reverse so this person could have had a lot of confusion in their past about who it is that they wanted to be with i also feel i don't know why this is coming through i feel like this person could have been cheated on um so they've kind of gone through their own ups and downs in terms of love this person sees you as a wish fulfillment for them as much as you do for that for um, as much as you see for them. Seven of swords. So this person, you know, they could be a little bit sneaky, especially in the way that they ask you out. I feel like this is someone who's going to suss you out. They're going to go through all of your social media pictures. They might even talk to your friends like they're going to try to figure out an angle um, to approach you. We do have a lot of sevens here. So this person might be on a spiritual path. This person is a master, a master um, manifester is what I'm hearing. So I feel like this person often creates situations for themselves, good, bad, or ugly. They can create a lot of movement in their life simply by being who that who they are. Some of you might not trust this person because you feel like they're a little bit of a player. I just feel it's because of their incredibly charismatic and beautiful energy um that it's almost like you know when the sun comes into the room you have to sort of shield your eyes it's like that kind of energy like why does this person want me i am hearing this person might play sports they like to take care of their body i feel like they have a very nice body sculpted i don't know why mary is sculpted oh my gosh spirit so weird but they might have a skull a sculpted body this person likes to take care of their body they're a very active person all right, all right, all right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Okay, let's see here. Tell me about Pile Three's person. Who's going to ask them out next, please, Spirit? Thank you. The loving man. Oh, oh my gosh, this person is going to lay it on thick, you guys. They're the one who's going to ask you um, 
they're going to ask you out with flowers. They're going to come to your door, pick you up, open the door for you, pay for the first date. Like this is a very old school romantic person. This is a person though, who's used to getting what they want. Okay. So, um, and when they decide like they're looking, this person, I always find this card so funny. It's mining for gold, right? So this person's mining for gold and they're looking here at that gold and they're saying like, that's my person. My person is this gold and I love them. You know, it's like when they, when they see you, they're, they're instantly attracted. It's like you have all of the shine and all of the beauty and they are just so crazy about you right from the get go. It's like they're discovering love for the first time, your higher self. So both of you guys, I feel like both of you are being guided right now by spirit to each other. Your higher self is very protective of you as well, my love. So if some of you are wondering why I'm hearing some of you, I don't know why I'm hearing this. Some of you are, are wondering why a connection didn't work for you in the past. It's because your higher self really blocked it. <laughs> I feel spirit is very protective of you. So they're not just going to let anyone in. Dark thoughts in reverse. So what you, you would be surprised to know about this person is that actually they've gone through a lot of ups and downs. Like I said, I do, do feel for many of you, this person might've been cheated on. This person has had to face their inner demons, but like this person likes to win at all costs. So even in terms of their mental health, they kind of just viewed it as something to be like over something to overcome. Let me get this guy from the ground. We have deserving. You guys are deserving of this connection. Like I said, I feel some of you will feel like, why does this person want me? There's no way. Like, look, at she's standing in her beautiful yellow dress. Yellow is corresponding here to the solar plexus chakra. So just make sure that you guys are really working on your self-worth. This person is a very attracted to you. Oh my gosh, commitment. Holy shit. You guys, like this person, they're not just a player. They want to offer you some sort of major commitment here. Um, their energy is very, very intense though. And I feel, I feel some of you guys might be a little bit concerned or frightened or confused about it. Let this person love you is what I'm hearing. This is a very attractive person. They might have some sort of facial hair as well, or there's something very important here about their hair. This person's going to want to offer you a long-term commitment. So they're not just interested in asking you out on a date. Okay. Tell me about pile three, please. Tell me about pile three's person. Who's going to ask pile three out next? Oh my God, I can't. I almost swore. I don't want to get demonetized. We have the sun. Okay, so the sun came up twice in this reading. This person is just amazing. I like this person's energy. I feel like they're incredibly, um, incredibly loving, incredibly warm. We have the thinking woman. You guys are going to be in your heads because this person has such a shock. I'm hearing star quality. This person could actually um, be in the public eye for something. Some of you, I'm hearing athlete. So this person could actually be a professional athlete. We have rest and rejuvenation. So I feel like, you know, it's almost like because this person is so bright, it kind of freaks you out. So you pull your energy back. And then this person, it's like the more you pour it, pull your energy back, this person likes to come towards you. This is a, a mover and a shaker, okay? I feel like you guys are a little bit more on the quiet side, maybe a little bit less, um, not less open, but like you just have your trepidations about this person because of their natural personality, community. Like I said, some of you might be concerned that this person is a bit of a player because I feel like they do have quite a, I'm hearing fan base. <laughs> so I feel like this person's quite popular. But like with the commitment card that came up before, like this person, you guys want, they want to offer you a commitment. We have attachment. That being said, like this person might have people in their past that are really attached to this person. Your person has a lot of eyes on them. Okay. This person is, is very, um, there's something about them that's quite popular. Um, and I feel like they do have a lot of feminine attention on them or like attention of the opposite sex here. This makes you feel a little bit confused and maybe a bit insecure, but I feel like this person is going to do their best to make you feel very special. We have man holding a heart. So this person wants to offer you their whole heart. They really do. Like, again, there's something coming through here about this person's hair. They also have an incredible body. Yin yang. The two of you really do balance each other out. Um, 
but yeah, this person, I feel they're going to lay it on thick. Like this person, when they want something, they want something and they want you, my loves. They are very, very focused on you. So yeah. Wow. Holy smokes. I like this person though. I mean, I do feel like they're quite popular, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Okay. Spirit, tell me about who's asking pile three out next. I got what you need. So it's like this person is like they're the a perfect, it's like they're perfect for you. You guys really do balance each other out. So the areas of your life where you're quiet, this person is loud. The area of your life where, you know, it's like this person is like the perfect um, fit to you. I'm hearing opposites attract. So a lot of you might be opposite. You could even be opposite signs on the zodiac wheel. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that could be the case for someone. Or there could be a lot of um, squares in your sinistry charts. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Maybe some of you are into astrology. Love potion practitioner. So you guys, like I was seeing that community card in the last little bit of this reading. There could be people trying to place love spells on your person. In this together. So, and then we have crocodile tears. So uh, it, there's just a big sense here, my loves, of you guys not really trusting this person. I feel because this person's got such a wonderful, um, warm personality. It's like, you don't really believe that they're interested in you. I don't know why that is. I do feel for this pile, you might need to do some work on your self-worth. We have STDs, doctor's visit. So you might be asking this person, you know, to present you a clean STD paper, which I think is fair because I do feel like this person is very magnetic. I feel like this person has had a lot of sexual partners. I don't know if that's going to be bothersome to some of you. What's really coming though, is that this person does want to commit to you. So I feel like you're going to have to sort of see, you know, recognize this person's past, but not like bind them to it, not make them feel bad for it because that's just who they are. You know, like they're, they do want to offer you a commitment here. What's standing in your power, this person's really going to force you to, um, grow and they're really going to, you know, this person might trigger you a bit, especially your insecurities, but this person sees the value of who you are as a person. We have taken the leap together. So this person does want to like be in a committed relationship with you. And they're not lying about that. Oh yeah, see, we have I want you. Like this person is very, very attracted to you. With checking cell phones though, you guys might be a little bit concerned. You might even want to be spying on this person. I just, I'm going to ask you to really pay attention to your feelings um, around that. Okay? Because I feel like this person, they are focused on you. And I don't want you to let you guys have your insecurity get in the way of this. Okay, tapping into my pile threes here. Who's going to ask them out next? Can we get some channeled messages from this person, please? Who's going to ask my pile threes out next, please? Okay, that's enough, Spirit. Come on, give me a break here. We did have pile three. Yay, this is the right pile. Thanks, Spirit. <laughs> I don't know why that's in there. I really have to go through this bag. You bring out my wild side. So you, this person like really, really turns you on. Okay. Like you're very turned on by this person. Unproductive. I feel like this person's going to, you know, really um, affect your ability to get work done. There's a lot of fantasizing here, a lot of daydreaming. Physical intimacy is the most important thing for me in a connection. So this person could have a love language that is um, sex, physical touch. This could be a little bit surprising to you. This person I feel has a very large drive. So just be careful. You know, you gotta, you gotta work yourself up to it. You already know who I am. So for some of you, you might actually know this person, like uh, throughout this um, reading, you could have just been like, oh, I think I know who this person is. I'm behaving strangely because I'm hiding something from you and I don't want you to find out. So I feel like some of you just might not trust this person. You might be picking up on them acting weird. I feel like for some of you, this person is trying to come up with a way to ask you out. There's not enough chemistry for me, I'm sorry. So for some of you, you might just be like, well, why would you ever like me? Like, look at you. Like, there is a sense here of you feeling like this person is somewhat above you. Which isn't true. Like, I just want to reiterate that. It's not true. I'm obsessed with your beauty. I fantasize about you all day and all night. I may even see you in my dreams. So some of you guys could be connecting with this person in the, the dream state. Um, this person is really highly attracted to you. I want to have kids with you. This person is thinking long term. I stalk your social media. Yeah, like I said, I feel like this person's really trying to go through and figure out um, what it is about you. Like, how can they get in? How can they really connect with you? 
but you guys, I also do feel like this person has a lot of people watching their social media. I'm a foreigner. So for some of you, this person could be from a different culture. I'm taking a break from romance right now. So some one person in this connection could be taking a break from romance. It could even be you guys. Maybe you just clicked on here because you're like, well, I don't really care about this reading, but I'm just going to click on anyways. I just need to focus on my career. So I, again, I feel that's very much energy from you guys. You're pouring into yourself. Boss babe energy. I like you, but just as a friend. So you could think that this person is just interested in a friendship with you. But let me tell you from those cards, they're not. You have to trust yourself a little bit and you have to let this person in my loves. So there is an extended to this. The timestamps for that will be down below. That will have some 18 plus components. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this resonated and have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.